Yeah, the black flowers are thick. After 24 kilometers from when I unloaded the quad from the truck, 24 kilometers, the last kilometer or so is a very uh, crappy trail, rocky, muddy. But uh, we got we got to the pond, so everything's all good. I'll get the canoe off, get her loaded up, and uh, we'll get paddling. I was gonna wear my other life jacket, but it's a little too snug. This one's gonna have to, oh my God. This one's gonna have to do. To the to the long side of the pond here where there's no wind and I'm gonna try right off the bat I'm gonna try a, a hook from my buddy that's a spinner so we'll try the five of diamonds I guess as you can see this one's well used blown down the pond so I'll probably leave the hook out and let it uh, let the wind blow me back down the pond so that's my setup right there for now well I'll fish this uh, pond here this first pond for over an hour or about an hour portage trails just right here so I'm just gonna fish around right here a little bit where the brook runs in tiny brook runs in here from the next pond fish around here a little bit but it's beautiful in this little cove now the wind is the wind is uh, died out in this cove we got a bit of a uh, bit of blockage from the wind 
We'll fish around here a little bit and then we'll uh, do the portage into the next pond. And the next pond is where I'll be camping tonight. So we'll get camp set up. We'll do some fishing. We'll do some cooking. Pretty pumped. Black flies are pretty thick in this cove though because of the lack of wind. Haven't even had a bite yet. Well, the fish are here, I know for a fact. I think this uh, portage is about 100 yards, so not bad at all. A little tricky, you gotta watch where you're standing. Some boulders, some bog holes, like right there. Slippery sections, of course, but not too bad. Not too bad of a portage at all. slip down here. Just put one on top of me. Beautiful. So I don't know if you can see that little island right here. That's where I'll be camping for the next two nights. So really that's the only portage the, with all my gear, you know. Uh, tomorrow when I portage up to different ponds, it'll just be the canoe and, uh, you know, a backpack, right? This stuff is all for uh, camping on the island pretty much. All right. I think I settled on a little spot right here. Throw up the tent. Pretty soft, all moss and stuff. There was a stick, but I moved it out of there. Close to the water, so a little draft of wind. Keep the keep the black flies down. So we got pretty pumped. Uh, there's an old, old fireplace here. Some rocks piled around, so I'll probably move these rocks out here on these rocks somewhere and uh, probably have a little fire later hopefully be cooking some trout later but anyway we'll wait till the wind dies out before we have a fire or anything so yeah i'm gonna get the tent set up have all that done then we're gonna head back out on the pond and do some trout and, uh, i gotta get a snack too first because i'm uh, getting hungry All set up, tents all set up, and uh, yeah, we'll go do some trouting again. Now I had a pack of pop tarts for a snack, but uh, we'll definitely go and do some trouting now, and hopefully catch a trout for supper. Finally got a fish on. Not a bad trout. That one's going in the pan for sure. Ah! Over the boat. From that long change the hook to uh, one of these guys. I forget what it's called. Okay, that's 
switch over to the fly rod and give it a try. Oh, finally got a nice hit. Oh, look at this. Got him. Damn. That's a nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Yes, sir. Nice. Brookie. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Man, I was thinking I wasn't going to hit anything here. The damn black flies. Whew. Might be on them now though, who knows. I'm gonna have another few flicks right here. We're right up at the end of the brook here. Right where it narrows out and I'll have to portage tomorrow. When I go up to that next pond. Oh, and tangle up my fly line. There we go. Relax, relax, relax. It's not a bad fish either. Ah! Oh, that was close. Hmm. Another beauty. Rookie. thinking about letting this one go but because I got two nice ones there for supper but he's uh he's gonna be injured too much sir all right back at camp sun is almost down over the horizon there but uh, done all right this evening got three nice brookies here for the frying pan so I'm gonna get a fireplace built here. I'm gonna collect some firewood, clean these trout, and uh, we'll get some supper, a late supper. Probably use one of these. Uh... Oh yeah, there goes the sun. Use one of these, um... what do you call it? Tinder plugs. Is that what it's called? Fire plugs, tinder plugs, something like that. Didn't even collect any wood, man. What was wrong with me? First day. First day. Oh boys, I got the good stuff. I got the good stuff. Fish crisp. <sighs> Trout. Trout breaching right there. I might throw a worm and a bobber out there just to see what happens. I see trout over there rising everywhere now. Calmed right down, eh? Beautiful. Nice little camp I got here. It's kind of messy right now. <laughs> I like it. Oh, 
do we got here? What do we got here? That's some good food, I know. That's some rice. Red beans and rice. Fish crisp on that. Cajun fish, fish crisp. My favorite. This is uh, my favorite for frog legs too, actually. Oh, gee. <coughs> I bit the pack open and inhaled the dust. Cajun dust on my throat. Okay, I'm gonna go grab my fish. Oh, well, here we go, guys. Three nice brookies. So I slid them so. They wouldn't curl up on me. That's I asked that question a couple of videos ago about the fish curling up all the time when they're fresh. And I should have known to slit them like that because I watched the Baird brothers and they always they always slit their fish like that. And that's probably why. Oil. Put some wood in there. A little bit. Let's feed it gradually. Oh, man, that is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, it looks like a. Looks like something swimming across the pond there. Hopefully, not a bear. It's really about to get. Uh, Probably a beaver. Yeah, beaver. It's about to start smelling nice around here. A bit of oil for the fish. A lot of oil, I should say. Not a very, it's not a very balanced uh, grill I got going on here. Okay. This one's a beauty, beauty fish. Let's go. This is gonna be so good. Cajun fish crisp, boy. On the perk. We'll just dry on for another minute. How about that?
Well, that's a good feed. And I tell you, I'm pretty hungry too now. What? Piece of fish. This is what it's all about here. Getting out and enjoying it. Amazing. Amazing. Losing light. I'm losing light. I soon bet I gotta get my headlamp and stuff out. I'm gonna clean up all these dishes. I gotta pack away my food, go hang it in a tree tree somewhere. Even though I'm on a little island here that we're not far from the shore, from the mainland part. So I mean if a bear wanted to come out here he could, you know? No problem. So I better be safe. Still get the food and the dishes away from my camp, right? Well, that was a good supper. Delicious, delicious. <laughs> 9 30 right now. And uh, finally dark enough outside. Can't really see around without a headlamp, so. In the tent now and going to, uh, you know, I, I went and hung up my uh, dishes and my, uh, my dishes and my food. Absolutely beautiful evening here on the pond. So nice. I didn't want it to get dark, you know, I wanted to sit and enjoy the sights and sounds on the pond. I'll get a good night's sleep tonight. Actually, feels pretty comfy here. Except for lying on my damn phone. I'm just going to change into some uh, dry clothes and stuff. And uh, I'll definitely get, uh, get to sleep early tonight. And get up early, hopefully. Get some coffee. And uh, yeah, we got like a kilometer portage to get to the next pond. Then about a 200 meter portage to get to the pond I want to go to. And... Um, Hopefully it's just not, you know, too windy so I can uh, actually do some fishing in there. But, uh, yeah, hopefully tomorrow is a good day. We'll uh, see you guys in the morning. Good morning, good morning. I slept in a lot. The wind came up in the middle of the night. I had to pull my canoe up on shore. It was uh, banging around there. Yeah, good morning. Even my hair is looking good today. I like it, I like it. 